Uh, Anof metal coating ropes invented the anti-corrosion fleck uh, uh, technology 40 years ago. Uh, our thin layer technology has firstly established, uh, let's say, in the automotive uh, industry, but since we developed very much in other sectors like uh, wind uh, energy, like uh, wildways and, and so on. Um, our development has been focused from the very beginning on a water-based product, uh, whereas our competitors that came later in the market were still focused on solvent-based uh, product. So um, our strategy uh, has been greatly awarded in, uh, in the last years. We, uh, we received uh, in 2010 uh, a responsible care award for drastically reducing VOC emissions, which is for us very important. I mean, we want to be strong and competitive on our market, but the philosophy of the company is always to promote water-based product instead of solvent-based product. Globally speaking, our, our product can apply to every type of uh, metal parts, like brake discs for instance, but uh, it's true that over the years, uh, fasteners, all type of fasteners became uh, the first uh, customer activity for our products, uh, around, let's say, 80%, and, uh, and therefore, uh, I mean, today being here close to customers is very important because it allows us to uh, meet with them to listen to their potential issue and decide with them what type of actions we will uh, uh, apply. The reason why the, the zinc flake technology and especially our technology, Geomet, was able to grow that much uh, in that area is that uh, we are able to bring significant advantages compared to other technology. For high-grade bolts, for instance, we do not have any hydrogen embrittlement, which is a potential risk uh, while uh, coating this type of, uh, of bolts. We are also able to guarantee a very high corrosion after shocks and uh, either mechanical or either thermal. I would say that uh, the, the, the expectation on the fastener market versus our coatings in general uh, have drastically increased, and especially from a functional point of view. Before, 20 years ago, people were expecting for coatings that they protect against corrosion. Today, the coating must not only be, be uh, let's say, able to, uh, to cope with its uh, primary function, but must be able to guarantee any functional uh, requirement on the, on the fasteners. Uh, in the last years, for instance, most of the premium German customers decided to increase the, 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 the old tightening test, and now they require multi-tightening tests up to five times at very high speed, and this should be repeatable on various types of, uh, of material like aluminum and e-coat, which make the life not easier, but push us uh, to develop new type of, uh, of top coats, and this is what we, we, we have done in the last years. Uh, we uh, launched the PLUS VLH uh, in 2014, especially uh, for being able to bring, uh, let's say, a very consistent performance in multi-tightening at uh, 200 RPM, which is the VW or VDA request, uh, on, uh, on aluminium but in aluminium. Most of the customers use aluminium for chassis parts, and now this is very important because once they try to assemble the part, if the screw is not assembling properly, they have to scrap everything, not only the screw but the global chassis parts. So this is a very uh, key point, and uh, since we introduced that in 2014, all our premium customers in Germany mostly have switched to, to this uh, coating. In 2015, we uh, started to uh, push uh, our GeoCode family, which is a, 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 a top code that we uh, developed to be able uh, to, uh, to respond to some higher requirement against chemical aggression, for instance, wheel cleaners, uh, which is also uh, something that is a kind of a new uh, request from, from the market. And uh, last but not least, uh, what we are really focusing on in that, uh, in that, in that fair is our new Geomet 430 that uh, we launched end of 2016. Uh, basically, before the black system with zinc flakes were black top coats applied on silver base coats with minimum two layers of black uh, top coat. Uh, later on, uh, customers, uh, uh, I mean, uh, required 
to be able to provide something that would be more consistent because after shocks you might see the silver base coat underneath of the black coats. So we decided to, uh, uh, on, on customer demand, to develop a totally new black base coat, which is not easy, was where your main components are uh, zinc and aluminium, but we, we did it. And now we introduce the 430 with a new black top coat, and we can not only guarantee a, 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 let's say a consistent and robust black uh, aspect, even after shocks, but we were able to decrease the number of liars to three instead of four. So uh, we are launching. We got our first approval by VW uh, at the end of uh, 2016, and we also received a PSA Peugeot approval beginning of this year, and we are currently on ongoing with uh, all uh, OEMs uh, uh, to, to get the new approvals.